What is good everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm currently out here in Abu Dhabi. This place is insane with the new Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. This is a animal when it comes to creating content. I've been taking it out with me on my travels while here for the past couple of days. And let me tell you, I am honestly considering not using a camera anymore. This thing has three lenses built into it. It's got a 16 mil, a 24 mil, and an 85 to 125 mil zoom lens. Each lens films in 4K in 120 frames per second. And the best thing about it is that with each lens, it has real time touch, eye tracking, autofocus, all built into this little device. It's insane. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys some footage that I've got over the past couple of days while here in Abu Dhabi. We've been doing some insane activities. And then we're gonna come back and we talk a little bit about the phone. I'll take you guys through a little bit of POV footage as well that I got so you guys can see first person how I've actually shot some of these clips and I'll show you some photos along the way as well. So what did you guys think? How insane is the camera in this phone? For someone like myself who is traveling, creating content all the time, constantly on the go, having those three lenses built into a very small device is so handy for me when I'm just doing activities like I've been doing on this trip, when I've been doing dune buggying, when I've been kayaking, when I've been to the Louvre, I've been to so many different places. And this phone allows me to capture the story and capture all of these places in such an efficient way with the 24 mil, the 16 mil, the 85 mil. I can get different focal lengths and it's like not a hassle for me to have to put something in my bag, change lenses, and I can rely so much on the touch autofocus and the eye tracking in this. It's insane. Like it makes my life 10 times easier as well when I'm traveling because I can rely on something. It's small. I don't have to lug around a big bag with me. Like it is 43 degrees. It's so hot. And I've got this phone in my pocket basically. It's so efficient. It's unbelievable. Having those different focal ranges to create a scene is super handy and just so good for when telling a story. Having a wide angle like a 16 mil is so good for establishing a scene and then you can go in tight with the 85 mil to get some more cinematic and dramatic looking shots. As a photographer as well as a filmmaker this phone has a videography pro feature as well as a photography pro feature. They both have the Sony Alpha user interface which is built into the phone. As a Sony user myself it has the same settings as my camera so for anyone who is familiar with Sony this phone is pretty much like a mini camera in a phone. Well I say a mini camera, a mini Sony Alpha camera in a phone. Because it has a very familiar menu system, it's super easy for me to navigate my way around and pretty much use the phone to its full potential. And it has some really good bokeh as well. I did some tests and some photos on the 85 mil and the bokeh is actually really, really good considering it's got such a small sensor. It's got a really nice separation between the subject and the background. As you can probably see, it's super bright and sunny over here. And sometimes it's super hard for me to even like see the screen when I'm filming in such high sunlight so ND filters always come in clutch and you must use NDs when you're shooting in super bright light like this because you need to stick to that 180 degree shutter rule you don't want your frame rate flying around the gaff you want it to be nice smooth cinematic and you don't want any just jitters and frame rates being off you don't want none of that okay so I'm currently at probably one of my favorite places on planet earth I've wanted to come here for I don't know how long right but look behind me I'm at the F1 track in Abu Dhabi and I'm here with the Sony Xperia. We're actually gonna be doing some go-karting, not around this track, unfortunately. The great thing about this phone in particular and what I have taken a very big liking to when using it over the course of these couple of days is that it has a wide dynamic range and 10-bit HDR. So it captures so much information in the shot so you don't lose any detail. And another thing which is incredible about this phone is when you actually use the telephoto the zoom a lot of the time on standard phones it starts to lose quality when you zoom in whereas this retains quality throughout those lenses if that makes sense so when you're zoomed in you don't lose any quality you've got the the same quality as it is if you were shooting on the 24 mil if you zoom in on the 85 or the 125 you'll still have that quality which is 
mind-blowing to see in a phone. I'm sweating so much right now, so I apologize, but we're currently at the go-kart track and everyone is flying around. This is where the 85 mil and the 125 mil telephoto is gonna come in really handy. So I'm able to actually stand on these little like vantage points as well as go on the grid. They're giving me special permission to go on the grid and get uh, shots of everyone flying around the track. As you can see, this telephoto lens is coming in clutch, especially at a spot like this. And I can see all of the action going on. One thing that I want to say or want to rely on is the autofocus when I'm zoomed in. I don't know how well the phone is going to pick up the subjects, but we're going to give it a go. So right now I'm in manual mode in the video setting. And as you can see, I can control all of my settings here on the right. So like my ISO, my white balance, my frame rate, I can switch in between lenses and Pretty much this allows me to use the phone like I would a normal camera. The menu settings are really easy to follow. It's just a dream, to be honest, to work with it for such a small device. So I'm gonna go down here now actually and get some, some close up shots of everyone flying around this bit. And then I'm actually gonna go down here and get a couple more videos. But right now it's getting a bit dark, but we've got light, so it's all good. We don't have to use an ND either now. So we are winning. And just like that, it is nighttime. I absolutely love it here at night. Actually, I love it here in the day and at night because look at this place, it absolutely comes alive at night. Now, going back to what I said before, this phone actually has a 50% brighter display. Now, this has come in quite handy while I'm out here in Abu Dhabi. As you know, it's so, so sunny and bright. And a lot of the time it is a struggle to see a screen, especially with this intense sun. Believe it or not, I actually took this phone out kayaking with me to the mangroves. It was a bit of a struggle struggle trying to get video as I didn't have an underwater housing for this. I didn't really want it getting wet and you know water and technology is never a good idea but I did get some really really cool photos with this. Uh, I managed to get it out whilst I was on the kayak and snap a couple of pictures of EL while he was going up and down one of the streams. Got some really nice shots and then alongside that I actually took it out to the desert which was so much fun and I was able to utilize again that 85 mil to get some really nice shots of the cars coming down like kicking up loads of sand. I got some really nice photos and I got some cool slow-mo stuff of the camels because they had a camel farm there and I was able to get some really nice 85 mil compressed stuff of the camels. This phone's just come in so clutch during this trip. Like it's been a dream. Now where I find to get the best image out of this phone is to expose my highlights properly. And that is by, like I mentioned earlier, using an ND filter because you want your highlights and your shadows to be exposed properly. So you're not getting like a blown out sky and it kind of looks, I'd say unprofessional. So an ND filter really came in useful for this trip. And I think that's where the footage ends up looking way more cinematic and professional when you're using an ND filter and you can really expose your highlights, your shadows properly, add a little bit of a grade to it. And Bob's your uncle really, the phone does all the magic. Fun fact as well, this particular phone is actually aimed at live streamers and it's got some really interesting live streaming capabilities, which I'm yet to discover. And I will probably make some content about that later down the line. My favorite thing about this phone alongside all of its amazing lenses and its video capabilities and its picture capabilities is the fact that you can also use this as as a display monitor for some of your alpha cameras. So you can actually mount this on top of your camera if you want to and use it as an external monitor, which is pretty sick. While I was out here at the Grand Mosque, I did try to get some POV footage on my GoPro. Some of my favorite photos and video that I got from this trip was at the Grand Mosque. Now, I did try to walk around with a GoPro once so you guys could see some POV first person footage on me actually shooting pictures and videos with this phone, but they were quite strict on me walking around with a GoPro on my chest as it is a place of worship. But the, the photos and the video that I did get while I was there were downright some of my best pictures I think I've taken ever. It's insane, it's such a sick place. So if you guys ever visit Abu Dhabi, make sure to visit the Grand Mosque because you will not be disappointed for photo content. Let's put it that way. It's got everything you want in a phone. Like it's ridiculous. The fact that you, well, they have put so many amazing features into such a small device, like makes life so much better, I guess, as a content creator, having a very small device with you to create amazing content. It's actually my final night here in Abu Dhabi. So I've got to go down, have dinner, come back, pack, and I got to fly early, early in the morning. I'm going to be sad leaving this place 
race, man. I love it here. Hopefully I can come back for the F1. So fingers crossed. But I hope you guys did enjoy all of the footage, all of the photos. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I will leave more information on the Sony Xperia down in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself. But that's me from Abu Dhabi and I will see you guys very, very soon in the next one. Peace.